Over the weekend, we began hearing people talk about how surprisingly water resistant the new iPhone 6S and 6S Plus really are. We've seen some videos showing the iPhone 6S surviving underwater for up to 30 minutes. But the big question on our mind is why didn't Apple advertise the new iPhones as being water resistant and how did they manage to make it that way? Our first clue that something was up was the discovery that the 6S and 6S Plus now had adhesive strips securing the front panel. Since the panel was already held in place with screws, why the additional adhesive? While we had our suspicions this might be due to waterproofing, it was just a theory until those YouTube videos began popping up and that's when we started to get really curious. Breaking out our teardown tools, we set to work on finding where Apple was hiding their water resistant secrets. Our first discovery was Apple takes this gasket business pretty seriously. It seems the iPhone's frame has been subtly reworked to accommodate the new gasket. There was a slight but measurable increase in the width of the lip running along the perimeter of the frame. It's only a third of a millimeter, but with the tight tolerance inside the iPhone 6S, it's enough to make a difference. The biggest surprise we found was on the logic board. Every cable connector on the board is surrounded by what appears to be a tiny silicone seal. Apple actually filed a patent for a waterproof silicone seal on board to board connectors just this past March, and it appears they have rapidly put it to use. Interestingly, the second part of the patent concerns a hydrophobic conformal coating for printed circuit boards. We were unable to confirm whether it's there for the moment, but we'll definitely update the post on our site as soon as we find out. The buttons of the iPhone 6S are surprisingly not that different from the iPhone 6. We noted in our teardown that the power and volume buttons underwent a minor redesign, but that doesn't seem to indicate a major change in strategy to repel liquids. We weren't able to find any obvious signs of waterproofing in the speaker or headphone jack. The speaker has a slightly finer mesh weave than the iPhone 6S, but it doesn't appear to repel water any better than last year's iPhone. All in all, the improvements in water resistance in the iPhone 6S are an exciting step forward for the iPhone line. More water resistance means less liquid damage, and that's a good thing in our eyes. If you haven't seen our teardowns already, make sure you check them out at ifixit.com or right here on our channel.